Hey folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play European Universalis 4 as Croatia. We are currently against uh, in a war against the Ottomans, and at the end of the last episode, I was debating piecing out for about a 60% war score thing. I think I'm going to push it a little bit more. Um, I think we can get some decent value out of it, um, especially with, with juggling um, um, aggressive expansion and coalitions and things like that. I think it's going to be worth holding out. We are going to go, I'm just going to dump a few points in some random development some places because we are getting close to a cap on both admin and diplo power. So what I'm looking for here is... There we go. Bring these guys up to 10, open up some building slots, um, and just generally avoid sitting at the cap. Uh, I'm still pulling back on these troops here to fight these rebels. Maybe that doesn't make much sense. Ooh, okay, Poland's gone. Um, we do maybe want to give these guys a chance to reinforce. I think what I'll do is split. And do this. I'll also break up some of the attrition. And then the other thing I want to do is I'm going to bring these troops over here. Uh, that They were my Scottish uh, anti-rebellion troops. We're going to bring them closer to the front. Um, yeah, because of the fort in Belgrade, no effect. I'm not used to seeing that. It was very cool. The adjacent forts do actually protect against the various effects. Uh, oh, France is going to finally deal with that for me. Well, that's very kind of you. Would have been nice to know that a little while ago. Oh, more separatists. Oh, these are not my separatists. These are Dan Danish Livonian separatists. Um... Poland and Denmark have remarkably similar colors. Okay, so what we're actually going to do... What we're actually going to do is jump on a ship to do this. It'd be nice to do a force use ships command. This is going to be much faster. Yeah, you can chill over here for a sec. I mean, you are being attritioned. That's okay. All right, come back over here and just keep getting some reinforcement ticks, please. That rebellion battle is won, and you're going to do that. Uh, let me bring you over here. Still waiting for the reinforcements to come in because oh, we're only short 9,000 men. But it'll still take three months for all the reinforcements to finish. Boom. Gonna grab this. And we're just going to help out Denmark. Because we're bros like that. Con oh, yeah. The, this embargo never mattered. So we may as well revoke it. I will have to do one against England, since they are my rivals now. Um, we don't have a truce, so we actually should be able to issue an embargo against them. Cool. I mean, we're at 100 power projection, but... I may as well do it while I can remember it. While I can think of it. Get on a boat. Come over here, please. Thank you. So, this is going to be the... Uh, Scottish... Whoops. Scottish Guard, so I can try to remember what these guys are. Um, let me go and just give you a couple more infantry, just in case something happens here. Although right now it is stable, so maybe it doesn't matter. You're just sitting around, but you're here to get recharged, really. Okay, Russia's through here. I guess, okay, I can probably push through. And take a little bit of stuff. Land. Pause. Do this. Do that. And then, yeah, we'll move you into the Ottoman front at that point. Um, it's looking a little scary. I don't know if I can do much to help with that, though. A force march over here. It might be fine, actually. There you go. And we'll help DC that for Denmark. Gotta keep my uh, my personal union country happy. Oh, looks like we did get defeated there. But, yeah. Um, shit, yeah, we're already locked, so this is gonna ha happen. Alright. Oh, and they've got more coming in. Although, on the other hand, you can see we have... So we have exactly the same discipline. They have a tiny scooch more... Uh, um, uh, tactics for some reason, but we have tons more morale. The problem is we are going to lose more dudes in this fight, but we might still win, except for these reinforcements. That put it over the edge. We were going to be fine. 
and we were losing a shit ton of war. Apparently, I should have just taken the peace deal when we had the chance. So we probably have negative war score now. Well, we don't have negative war score from the ticking war score, but uh, we definitely don't have it on the positive side anymore. Hmm. I really thought with um, with Russia being around, and not to mention France, that actually would go better than this. I clearly shouldn't have jumped in on this, but I thought it was going to be okay. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, autosave. Come on. Boom, boom, boom. Group you up for a sec here. We're in here. I don't think I care. Whatever. France might be running low on manpower too if they're not, you know, this so reinforced. If they keep going around as a big single stack, that is still going to be scary. On the other hand, they might be taking more attrition by not managing their supply limits, I'm not sure. Okay, that siege is done, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get moved down to... Oh, you can just walk here. Alright, well then walk over this way. That's gonna have to be fine. Big doom stack. We've got lots of friends around. But we need these guys to not be in a giant doom stack. And booping these little guys is going to be nice. Okay, they're spreading out a little bit. We're just going to have to look for an opportunity to jump on things. Um, I'll take the legitimacy hit, I suppose, because we're at 100. I mean, theoretically, we're going to maybe get more prestige by winning battles. Or, or are we? I don't know. Uh... Okay, France, that's, um, quite bold here. That was pretty bold. So far, so good. They're going to reinforce, but so are we. Okay, I think this is going to be a big winner for us here. Because France has got some pretty good stats. Actually, I think we have about the same discipline. Well, that is definitely going to be a big win for us. Lots of war score. Does it put us back on the ticking side? It does not, which is unfortunate. Oh, you know what? Uh, okay, stop both. You have the two siege. Turn off the force march move. You have four siege pips. So you can help out take ISIL a little bit faster. Thank you. That's actually quite good. Oh, you guys have arrived over here, so I'll get you to just keep moving forward, please. Thank you. Um, Maybe? So we might just keep hitting these caps here. Uh, lose stability, lose army tradition. Tell you what, I'm going to take the stability hit, but then I'm going to go ahead and spend on the stability hit. I think we want the tradition. Can make some states. Highlands, lowlands. Honestly, you know what? Let's do it. The hell, right? I have the points. We've got the military management or the um, the government capacity. Yeah, I mean it's getting a little tighter. But what the hell? Right, yeah, we're gonna help out with the siege because we should be able to boost it a lot. Um, gain production or gets basically stability. Now we'll take the free production boost in a few places. I like that. We're keeping our guys grouped together and being on the lookout for more friendly fights we can join in. It would be nice if we had the ticking war score from the military superiority. But at least we don't have the, the, the negative. Okay, we've got the Siege of Isola again. Oh. They are jumping in over here. Which, yeah, and they were going to reinforce. That's going to be great. I mean, well, France is. I actually don't know if this Russian troop is, but there you go. It's another one battle. Still don't have the ticking war score, but I guess it'll have to do. And yeah, I'm just going to very, very carefully leapfrog forward here and be much more cautious. I think I was being a little bit, um, a little overconfident. Oh, we did lose the uh, a general here. That's too bad. I'm going to roll another one. 
Actually, we want our king to be a general. And we want him to be assigned to an army because it doubles his chance of dying. Wait for it. Jump on that guy. What is this? Papal State likes us, but I don't really care. Here, we'll do that. Boom, 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 boom. Done. Yes, ticking war score back in our favor. Okay. That's handy. We do have some rebellion brewing. Oh, um, I'm going to harsh treatment the Theodoran Separatists. Because they're in a position that makes them hard to hard to boop. Be nice if those the Separatism just went away. Yeah, that should be a pretty good attack here. Including some reinforcements. Okay, I'm going to go for this fort here. Looks like they've been pushed back pretty decisively. And at this point, we can we know we can even get a ton of ticking war score. Uh, oh, I can't get through there because... Wait, what fort is stopped? Is there a fort here? I don't see the siege progress, but yes. Why don't I see the siege progress? I mean, I know it, I'm not sieging it. My ally is, but don't wouldn't I normally see it? I thought. Hmm. What do I want to do with my diplo power? I think I'm just going to put a little sink into mercantilism for a sec here, just so that we don't hit the cap. We could do some development, but the mercantilism is going to be useful too. I know my fleets aren't doing anything right now, but I'm worried that the Ottomans will move out and smash them. Actually, if anything... Oh yeah, I did move my fleets a little further inland before the uh, the episode started. Um, I could start some more construction. I think that would be okay. And I don't see any reason to do anything but build a bunch of light ships for future trade power. So let's get that going. It might be a little vulnerable while they're heading out, but I think it's going to be okay. Lost the Conquest CB against Poland. That's fine. I mean, we can always Religious CB. I think. I don't... Uh, Poland is Protestant, actually. We do have some claims. Oh, hold on. Are they my claims? No, they're Danish claims. I could marry them, potentially ally them, if we weren't in a war. They have no trust. No, I think the thing to do is to... I'm going to build a spy network and make sure I have my own claims over here. There's a big army. There's going to be a fight there. Okay. Uh, oh, this siege has been won, so let me force march to over here. Yeah, it should be fine. But, you know what, I'm going to detach a siege. And do this. Because they are going to throw more guys in here. Well, let's make sure it says decisive. Oh, that was quick. Alright. Sure, deny me my fun. Why don't you? What are we at? 77%. Okay, we did definitely take some hits, but I'm happy I kept going. If we could, Maybe we could take more land over here. Again, we're, we're going to have to juggle the... Um, we really don't want these guys joining the coalition. Although they are going to have a truce for a little while. So I could go and put them a little into coalition range, and that would be okay. Getting the, uh, the trade power from these guys would be very useful. Because um, trade in Constantinople would be handy, so I could redirect it. Uh, maybe? We probably get buddies joining in on us, too. I'll do a detached siege and do this just to make sure. Just in case none of my guys contribute. And they did actually reinforce a fair bit, but no. We, 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 well, actually, I'm, I'm kind of happy I threw in some extra dudes. Just want to grab those two, merge them up. Uh, and I guess head over to Musul. Now, where's the Petra? Somewhere over here, yeah? It, should, it does show up on the map, doesn't it? There it is. So not today. 
Not today, but soon. I mean, here's the thing. We've got air. Clearly, we're going to have to get air. And clearly, we're going to have to get the Petra. We have goals. Oh, our vassal annexation is finally coming along. Merge. And you're sitting over here, which is great. England have cork bottle stoppers. Good for them. Just remember, have you, you have to soak your corks first. Get some professional cork soakers. Old SNL skit. Really funny. Mostly because you're sure they're going to say something that is going to get them banned from television any moment. We are going to be attacking the Highlands. There's no fort here, but um, they're not fully... Well, they'll get another reinforcement or morale tick, but I think this should still be fine with a 2-to-1 advantage and plenty of friends around. I think we will be okay. Ottomans are looking for peace. Oh yeah, that was a stomp. Holy crap. Just go and be on automatic for a little while. Why am I let this one finish? Well, we're at 97%. It's actually... We we'll probably can 100% the piece right now. Okay, let me clear this. Now, we have permanent claims over everything over here. Um, we may even have a mission about taking this. We'll see. Okay, the coalition stuff has actually, like, chilled a fair bit. What I'm thinking is grabbing as much coast as possible. Ottomans are barely at 50. Barely at 50 here. 73. That probably keeps them... With the uh, with the uh, truce we're going to get, that probably keeps it okay. I think this is probably manageable and is what I want to take. Um, I mean, we can't war reparations over here. I mean, we've got 5%. We've got nothing. Um, I could force them... I could get them to release Byzantium. Which is kind of funny. It would literally just be this one island. Could also just take a bunch of cash. I'm just going to take the money. So yeah, they're going to be at 73%. Um, but with a truce, I think this is fine. Uh, we are going to be 102% overextended. Okay, hold on. We will get bad overextension events by doing this. So I'm going to do this. Now, that might... Oh, I hate that. I can't... Oh, right mouse button to do larger increments. Okay. hate that you shift-click the minus and it still sets it to, like, a weird thing. Um... No, let's go war reps and this, rather than have detach. This should actually give us a good amount of money. It'll hurt them. I mean, detaching some stuff or, like, releasing some stuff will also... Uh, hurt them, but I think this is going to be handy. Okay, I like it. And we will get the full 15-year truce, which is probably quite good. Done. 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 And I was going to say, we might even have a mission for Constantinople. Imperial Conquest. Oh! This is just having a thousand development, which we've got. Prestige. Minus five years of separatism. Hopefully that applies to the territory I just got. And wait, there's another mission as well. Oh, withstand the Turks! Have 30 provinces in the Balkans. And have at least half their army strength. Gain 200 military power. Boom. We got double mission. Cores. I can upgrade my government rank. Yes, please. So we're going to go to Empire. Uh, Overcapping our prestige. But gives us a cultural union of South Slavic. Now that, I was going to say, is going to fix a few things here. Huh. Wait, we have 0% Bulgarian? Can I? So there might have been some conversion I didn't need to do, but I didn't realize that this was coming. Hmm. I guess I'll promote the Venetians. Do I want to promote the Remagnol? I might want to wait, because I might I might take more Scotland. I, I will see what we end up with more of, and then make a decision there. But yeah, I bet you I did some culture conversion that didn't have to happen, but I didn't know that we would be doing this. Um, what do we have? Some random frigates over here? Okay, let me bring all my navy together. 
Um, oh, you know what I just did? I hit the C key, which is the hotkey to move like fleets in uh, Stellaris. Just right click over there. Scottish Guard is fine. I mean, they're not. You know, do this. And drill. It's gonna be okay. And then yeah, these troops. I'm gonna bring them. Tell you what, group up in Zagreb, and then I'll merge and split you in two to balance, and then we'll put you in a decent location afterwards. Uh, integration just finished, which hurts your Diplo rep, which hopefully doesn't make two things too bad with um, with Denmark. Let me take a look here. I mean, the relative... Yeah, okay. Because I was going to say, we don't have the same Diplo rep. But they're still happy that I gave them a bunch of land, so that's good. The Enforced Religion counter is slowly going away. Um, their army power relative to me is actually more than it used to be. Although we might bounce back here soon. Um, let's see. Let's say we got some random armies over here. That can also make the move towards Zagreb, please. Okay. Oh, Austria left the military coalition. They were, I was probably slightly vulnerable while at war, and that's no longer the case. Um, fortresses. Um, this, I mean, this is such a great choke point that it sort of makes sense to have a fortress here, even though it's only farmland. On the other hand, what I could do is move it to Gallipoli over here. Um, because it is a hill, which is a better location, it's still a crossing and actually protects this as well by being adjacent. I think that's much stronger. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to assume we want to get rid of this castle long term with plans to potentially build one over here. Uh, we do have one here. It's in flat land, farmlands. No, no reason to have that there. Um, I don't think there's much of a reason to have one way down here. It's kind of out of the way. We might build, I think this one's okay in the mountains, and yeah, we'll have one more, probably here. Because I think I want to cover this province. So I think uh, Gallipoli makes a great, great location for a fortress. Certainly would be hard to invade, especially in World War II. Insert historical references. Papal state no longer doing things, that's okay. Um... More ships are still being spawned. We'll probably merge up over here. For now, though, that's okay. I'm going to set a protect trade in Venice. And give you the guy with more maneuver. And then we'll just move the uh, move the light ships into that fleet afterwards when as they get built. Okay. Oh, yes. Let's maintain that. How are our relations? Well, first of all, we're at three of four. We need to remarry France. That's definitely a high priority. Okay, and yeah, we've got Denmark as a lesser partner. We can potentially get one more alliance. We can get Lithuania back. I can get Sweden. I can get Ethiopia. I can get Air. <laughs> hmm. Now, Sweden is quite potent, but really, because we're uh, buddies with Russia and we've got Denmark as a junior partner, really, Sweden is a target more than anything else. Um... I think I quite like the idea of Ethiopia. We know they're actually fairly strong over here. We can even royal marry them. Um, they could probably send troops against the Ottomans. They're probably going to want to eat the Mamluks some more, which may or may not be something that we're happy about. But that can be, you know, that's a, that's a problem for the future. I think this is going to be an... Oh, hold on. Who do you hate? You hate the Mamluks and Castile. Yeah, no, I think this is going to be fine. I think this is going to be extremely useful. Da, 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 da. Let's go up in speed. Let's go to speed 5 for a sec here. Less demand for books. Why, why are people not reading books? Truce with Anhalt. We're on the air just up. We've got some cash. Getting some war reps. Ottomans just go right to war again. Gold rush. Now, we do still have negative inflation. Like, we have inflation decrease. I could go and bring it down now right away, but I don't think that's strictly required. We're building a spy network against Poland. Oh, yes. I wanted to do... I see even Poland. Yeah. Everyone wants to be my friend. I guess I must be pretty strong. I want to get my own claim on Poland. 
Okay, really, literally only have just the one province of the border. Which is funny, because it's not very big. I'm going to set up an automatic thing, suck up to my alloy lies, and... Um, random... or threatening countries, how about that? I like that. Yonmans want access rights. I'm going to say no. I don't think it's actually going to matter. Wait, was that the Ottomans or was that the other guys? I'm not sure. I like how this is separated, so now it's Ottoman Balkans in little text. We made their font a lot smaller, which is, of course, the most important thing in the game. Uh, overextension is dangerously high. Yeah, no, it's fine. Rebel Upper... Okay. Rebel Uprising definitely is a bit of an issue. Oh, you stopped here, which actually is kind of okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to separate out two cannons... Leave you at 15, and one of the cavalry. There you go. That's a nice, comfortable size. I'm going to get these guys to show up over there. We can do some more reorganization. 51? Yeah, I guess that is the way it works. Um, suppression here, here, all down there, up over there, and these little islands. Actually, I'm going to cancel this, and we'll use a different army for that. So we can get a little bit more suppression in this area. Because getting to some of these places might be slightly annoying. Spy Network Connection. I'm going to say no and take the Prestige, although I was already capped on Prestige. It was one whole Prestige, but I don't really care about the Spy Network Fabrication right now. Um, this is affordable, but I think we may as well wait. Bellion over there. Manually send you over there, and then we'll send you back. We used to have a fort over there. We don't anymore. Womp womp. Denmark loses liberty desire. Successful loyalists. Oh, that's probably because we're running the loyalist policy? Yeah, I'm going to say no, because I don't want the Ottomans walking through my territory. I don't think it actually matters, because if I say yes, the Ottomans can cross through here. I'm actually doing them a favor by denying them, like, denying Crimea access rights. They might not see it that way, but trust me, I know better. We have a lot of money. I, I, trust me, I know better is what I'm saying to them, not to you guys. Uh, okay, dumb freeze. Yes to leveling you up. Where is Kirill Fwibodaba? Kirill Fold. Oh, here. These mountains. Um... I never did get around to upgrading it. I mean, the mountains is really good. Covers good adjacent areas as well. No. I don't need another castle there. It's a great location in terms of defensiveness, but we've got lots of, of castles to cover our, our central territory. I'm leaving my forts up right now because we do have a fair amount of uh, rebellion brewing, although maybe not maybe not where my forts are, but still. Uh, any good manufactories? Well, acceptable manufactories. Sure, we'll get that one as well. Um, ooh. Right, we'll build that in Airshore as well. Airshore, of course, needs some love. No, although we'll get some good trade going on here later on. And yeah, having control over Constantinople so and watch is going to be nice. So we're going to get more of the trade being pulled towards Ragusa. Uh, most of Ragusa is going towards Venice. All really, really valuable for us. And yeah, i got to wait for this core to finish before I can build anything over here. We're also going to have a lot of conversion to do. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Um... Yeah, so what I want to do is this, because I'm not currently rebel-stomping there. Apparently we've got some issues over here and over here. But at least, because we have unified a lot of the culture, um, again, some of it may have been converted in a way that didn't need to be done, uh, but because we did, we do have a fair amount of stability. Coalition's fading a little bit, which is nice. Got a little bit of corruption, but that's mostly because of overextension. We'll be able to tech up soon. What does this level do? Oh yeah, more promoted cultures. Trade efficiency is going to be nice. Separatists over here, which is going to get dealt with, which is going to be lovely. Saluzzo! Okay, this is a Defender of the Faith situation. Well, I think we say yes. Just be 
explicit here and there. We might even take something in this war, actually. Do that. Um, I'm going to manually move you here, over here instead of doing the automatic suppression. I still want to go and boop these guys, but then we might bring you to the war front. Still a lot of rebels being um, threatened, and I still don't like these guys, so I'm going to harsh treatment them some more. I really don't want to deal with that. Autonomy decrease. I did do the autonomy decrease. That is that is kind of legit. That is a thing that I did do. But uh, ho yeah, hopefully you can stabilize. You're building the farm estates. I am, what are the terrain here? Now Steps doesn't have any kind of defense bonus or anything. Because if, if we did have a keep over here, then that might help the situation a little bit. Because it would give us time to go and actually drop some troops off. But I really don't want to deal with rebels over here which is one of the reasons i hesitated grabbing it in the first place but the plan was to use this as a stepping stone for more conquest which we did do, do we did do right we started i think with just kaffa and then we since then took theodoro itself um yeah we should be able to deal with this war perfectly fine i don't see any reason in hell that this would be dangerous i mean yeah we've got like a two to one uh troop advantage overall we should have pretty good quality troops as well so yeah these guys stopped drilling honestly they could probably keep drilling. Not that there's much to gain uh, over here because it's a small army. The small army decrease is, it will limit the percentage chance of doing like kills. You can see 0.40 right here. It's not a particularly big deal. Um, we still might want the troop quality, but I guess I could let it count up. That would be, that would be all right. Um, hell, maybe I could just do this. Not that you have any unrest right now, but things might tick down later on, so I could just leave it that way. I can grab a military tech. Oh, no, I can't because I spent it on uh, the rebel stomping, the harsh treatment. Um, come January, I might go and hit this button. Although, again, this is not a, it's not a very significant war. This should be, this should be a pushover, I think. Yeah, I really don't see any reason why it wouldn't be. Um, I wonder if we can get Venice out of this. Well, we're not the, the war leader. I have to remember, next time I'm at peace, maybe flag more territory in places. Really pee all over the provinces and let people know that it's, I want it to be mine. But, can't do it now, because we're currently at war. Denmark, you're still cool, right? Everything's groovy? If you were to die right now? Personal union continues. Yep. Excellent. Alright, folks. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.